I've got a big old giveaway for you guys today. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a care package that was sent out to me by my good friends over at Lockdown. Now you may have seen me talk about some of their products scattered throughout the channel, especially when I've been at some events recently. I've gotten a few of these right here at some different events and this is the Lockdown Puck. One of these is definitely included in here, so we'll talk more about this when we get into it. By the end of this video, I'm going to be giving away almost everything that you see throughout this video, both here on YouTube and over on Instagram, so more details on that later. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Lockdown and all of the different products that they offer, what do they do? Essentially, they make very affordable security products that can help keep a lot of your valuables safe, whether it's firearms or jewelry or pretty much anything for that matter, and it also helps you sort of automate your life thanks to their app, and how all of their products connect into this app. So let's just jump right into this care package right here and see what they sent out. Ooh, look at that presentation. All right, this is pretty sick. So we've got a lot of different products here. Up top we got a t-shirt, looks like a flag, hat, all sorts of swag. And then we've got some of their most popular products like the Lockdown Security Puck, and we also have some gun concealment magnets. We have a Magnum magnet, which I actually just started using recently, and some other swag in here as well. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna be giving away one of these boxes, so one of you lucky winners out there, or two of you lucky winners out there, will get all this cool stuff. We got a hat, lockdown flag, to let everyone know that you're keeping all your stuff nice and secure. I always get a kick out of these shirts. Get pucked. The puck is something that I've been using for the last couple of months now, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. We also got a bunch of stickers in here. This looks like a some kind of multi-tool. Bottle opener, a bunch of hex wrenches, a little carabiner to keep it on, and even a little ruler on top. To go along with the swag, right here we have a brewmate. My girlfriend has one of these and she loves it. Got some more stickers inside of here. Dude, these things are actually really nice. So these allow you to drop any size can in here, fits right on top, and then keeps your drinks nice and cool for wherever you may be drinking at. This is also like a little standoff thing, so if you have shorter cans, you can drop that in the bottom and it will secure in the top, or also you can drop a larger can in there as well. Ooh, we've also got a little knife in here. Lockdown, secure your lifestyle. It's got a bottle opener, a little flipper, Look at the blade on that thing. This reminds me of the old school mail time videos that I used to do. I don't know who makes that. It's branded Lockdown and it's made out of D2 steel, so pretty cool little pocket knife. And then finally for the swag, before we get into the actual Lockdown products, you guys can also win Magpul Case, which is housing. Ooh, I think these are the uh, Oakley Holbrooks. Holbrooks, is that how you say it? A really nice pair of sunglasses here, and this is also gonna be given away in the swag pack, how they look. I'm very particular when it comes to sunglasses, but these actually fit me really well. I think they're prism lenses as well. Yeah, they are, so super nice pair of Oakleys going into this giveaway swag pack. Now moving on to the actual lockdown products. Right here we have two different gun magnets. We have the gun concealment magnet and then a magnum magnet. I actually use these kind of all over the place. You can mount them underneath a desk, underneath a table. I actually personally use these in my safe. I have a bunch of shelves in one of my safes and then I mounted some of these underneath. That way I can just sort of maximize my space so I can open up my safe and take whatever gun I'm trying to store and actually secure it underneath the shelf. So I have guns on top of the shelf, underneath the shelf, and these things definitely come in handy. I'm not gonna open these because I am going to be giving both of these away, but they're low profile, they're non-marring rubber on them. I actually have one of them out of the box right here. Now, how can I do this without getting demonetized? How about a blade? Here is a big old custom blade that was made for me by my friend Ryan at Two Feathers Production. This is a seven inch full tang, a quarter inch blade. This is just like a crazy workhorse. I'll bring you guys a video on this eventually, but here we go. That is a strong magnet right there. Actually, I bet this would even work yeah, through the Kydex sheath on there. So 
You can mount this thing under a table, you could mount it in your truck or your car possibly, and sort of put whatever EDC you have right onto this magnet. I'm sure you guys have seen these all over the place, so that's just another cool product coming from Lockdown. Now for some of the more smart products coming from Lockdown that are actually connected all through their new Logic app. They just updated their app, which is available on iOS and Android devices, and the revamp has been awesome. There's also a bunch of patches in here, get pucked patches. I'm gonna have to throw one of those on the roof of my van. So if you haven't seen me talk about this before, I'll give you a good look at the packaging because they definitely nailed it on the packaging. On the side here, they talk all about their Logic app. So this puck is Wi-Fi connected, it's a door sensor, a vibration sensor. You can monitor temperature and humidity. You get audible alerts, battery power, and it's optional USB powered. Right now, the one that I have in my safe is actually powered just by four double A's. These boxes are also magnetic, so when you pop this open, it gives you an actual look at the app. And I'm gonna pull my app open and give you guys a real-time view of what my puck is currently doing. So again, I'm not gonna open that puck because I already have two that are in use, one of them which is in my safe, but here is a close-up look at the actual puck. It's very discreet. You wouldn't really be able to tell what this thing is, but behind here are a bunch of LEDs so you can actually monitor when you're connecting to this thing. It will show you battery life and things like that. On the back here is a door where you can put in your batteries. There's a USB port on the side. I believe right there is where you have the speaker. That way you can get audible alerts. And then there are a bunch of different accessories. Right here is a mounting plate, which you can drill into a wall or put it inside of your safe, inside of a cabinet, basically wherever you want to monitor the security of things that you have in that storage vessel. So that slides in the back and then locks into place just like that. Also comes with power cords. We got a short power cord, long power cord, and then a bunch of different door magnet mounts. So what does this thing actually do? Let's open up my Lockdown app right now and see what we have going on. So right here inside the app, you get your dashboard where it will show you all of your connected devices. Of course, we're talking about the puck right now, so let's click on Talon's puck. This puck is currently located in one of my gun safes and it's showing me a bunch of different information here. So it is 71 degrees inside of my safe at 43% humidity. The door is currently open because I'm at home and I'm working on some things right now. The second icon in will show you different tampering notifications. So right now it of course is stable because I'm the only one here and I'm not messing with it. It will show you if there are any impacts of the safe or wherever you have this thing mounted. And then it will show you if there is any tampering, some like light shaking or maybe someone's like bumping the safe, things like that. Next one in shows you battery life. Right now I'm currently at 75%, so I could throw that thing on a charge if I so choose and then it also shows you your Wi-Fi connection. I can scroll through the timeline here and actually see the different temperatures and readouts. Of course, I keep my home at about 70 degrees, so it's 71 degrees all through last night into today right now. You can check it by the week, the month, the year. So if you've been using this thing for a few months, you can go back and see when it was a little bit colder in here. Now at the top, underneath the temperature and humidity, you can choose to arm, disarm it if I wanted to open the safe without the alarm going off and actually if I click alarm I don't know if you guys can hear that alarm going off right now but I am like one two three like four rooms away from where I have my safe and I can hear the alarm going off that is with the door almost all the way shut packed with everything that I have in there and it's still pretty loud so that thing would definitely get your attention pretty much no matter where you are in your house change that back to armed so that stops beeping, there we go. Now if I click on history, this will actually show me when I recently set up this newer puck. I've had this other one on the table behind me for a little while. You can see at the beginning of this month after I set up this new puck, I was messing around with it. I punched it so it shows impact detected down there at the bottom. When it goes back to stable, it will let you know that it is stable and then you can see all the times that I've armed and disarmed it. Now if I go into the settings of the puck, right here is where you can actually change the name, you can update the firmware if there are any updates available, and then you can change the motion sensitivity. So right now I have my tamper and impact levels both set on mid. If you are in a place where you're more worried about people actually bumping into your safe and trying to get into it, you can set that to high. However, the high setting is very sensitive, so if you bump the safe at all, if you open the door, that alarm's gonna go off. 
maybe that's something that you want. You can set different environmental thresholds, so I can set a temperature if I don't want it to go, say, above 80 degrees, I can slide that slider down to 80 degrees. And then say I'm monitoring something that I don't want it to get too cold, I can also bump up that bottom temperature to whatever I want it to be. Humidity is something that is super important when it comes to firearms. Luckily, I'm in a place where it is very dry almost all year round. However, say you live in Florida where it is super humid, you probably want to monitor that humidity a little bit more and Lockdown also makes products like dehumidifiers that you leave in your safe where you can monitor the temperature and the humidity. That way you're not gonna develop any issues with anything that you're storing inside of that safe. Now scrolling down a little bit more, you can check out your battery level. You can put it in a power save mode as well. You can change different alarm settings. So again, you have disarm, armed, and alarm. I currently have all of my settings set to on that way it will beep when it's armed it has an alarm siren a door beep door sensor and I can also get notifications for all that stuff down below here so for my notifications you can have them go directly to your app you can also get them as a text message or even an email so you can see I have all of my door notifications set up that way if the door of the safe moves at all I can get a notification on the app a text message and an email that way I know immediately that someone is trying to tamper with wherever I have this pup. So that is a lot of functionality packed into this little thing and there are a lot of uses for it. Like I mentioned, you could have it in a safe like I have mine, but also you could put this inside of say a Pelican case. Or maybe you don't actually have a gun safe or like a good case to keep things in. You could simply put this in one of those little metal turnkey style safes and it basically makes whatever you put this into a smart environment. So say this is a case that I'm keeping firearms in, I can arm this and set it up to however I wanna have it set up, put that in there with my firearms and then close it up, lock it. I could throw that case into a closet or store it wherever I want it and then if anyone bumps it, picks it up, if it detects an impact, if it gets too hot or too humid, I can get all of those notifications sent directly to my phone and it just adds a hell of a lot more security to whatever type of storage device you're actually using. So pretty cool functionality of the lockdown puck. I may use this thing for a video in the future of doing some unconventional things with it because I can think of a lot of different ways that you could implement this into your daily life. Now for the final product in here, this is a new one and unfortunately this is not going to be part of the giveaway because this is very new, but this is what they call their logic plug. Again, this is a product that connects to the Logic app on your phone, and if I pull my app up again, you'll see right here I have a plug in my list of devices. So, if I open that up, this is simply a smart plug that you could put into a bunch of different applications where it could almost be used as a security product as well. Or it could just be simply used as something to control light switches. So this product is new to me right now, I just have it plugged into an outlet here in my office and with this simple button here, I can turn things on and I can turn them right back off. So if we look at the box here, this thing of course is Wi-Fi enabled, you can set up schedules, you can turn things on and off remotely. So when it comes to security, maybe you're out of the house and you're not coming back at the time that you thought. You want to turn some lights on to make people think that you are home. You could hop into your app and turn on lights in your house without actually being here. You can monitor the usage so you know how long lights are on or however much power is going to whatever device you have this connected to. And it also does have a physical button. Let me actually pull it out of the wall and show you guys. So here is the Logic plug, nice and sleek. You got an on off button right there. You simply plug this into your wall, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and then it will auto populate in your app and you can control everything from there on out. So again, if we jump back into the app, there are some more things that you can do with this. You can set up different schedules. So if I click the plus button here, I can have the plug turn on at say nine o'clock in the morning. I'm coming into the office and I want all the lights to be on. You can set up a schedule just like an alarm basically. So Monday through Friday, I'm in here working. I want the lights to be on at a certain time. You can also set up a timer. So if I want the lights to turn off in say like two hours because I'm sleeping, set it to two hours, save and then in two hours, the lights will turn off. And then also the usage, as you can see here, this is very new to me, so I haven't actually been able to use it to a point where it's actually showing me useful information on here, but it will show you wattage, how much it's actually costing you, and then if you use it over a few weeks, it's giving you your estimated weekly cost in dollars. So 
pretty cool information there if you are trying to conserve electricity or you're just curious about how much power you are actually using. You could put this thing in line with a safe. One of my safes, actually two of my safes, do have power because they have lights in them, they have different plugs for humidifiers and things like that. So I could put this in between my actual power and the safe, that way I can turn the safe off if I ever wanted to. I should actually put this in line with my safe that I have my puck in because, as you saw, my puck is down to 75%, so I could go to my app, turn it on, and it will actually start charging my puck that way. I can stay up to date with all of those different features like the humidity, temperature, tampering, and whatnot. So again, this logic plug is something that is pretty new to me, but I can think of a few pretty cool applications that I could put this in. Unfortunately, because this thing is so new, it's not gonna be included in the giveaway, but all of the other products that I've shown here will be. And if you guys have any questions on these products, you can let me know in the comments down below because I have hands-on experience with them and I can probably answer any questions that you might have. So now, how can you win some of these products for yourself? Again, two different places, here on YouTube and over on my Instagram. First, for the YouTube giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. I will be checking all three of those things to make sure you're following and on board. And then I will pick a random winner sometime next week. I will contact Lockdown and I will have them send you out a brand new box just like this here. And then if you want to try your luck twice, head over to my Instagram. I'm going to be posting a picture of this box right here and I will leave a bunch of information on how to enter the Instagram giveaway over there. This is probably a couple hundred dollars worth of products here, so hopefully if you win out there, you guys appreciate this stuff. And I've already talked with Lockdown, they're very open about doing more giveaways in the future, so I'd love to get some more of their products in your hands out there. So if you like this stuff and you wanna see more, leave a like and we will try to see if we can do some more of this stuff in the future. So that's all that I got for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. Huge thank you to Lockdown for making this giveaway happen. And I think that's all, so. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.